Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. We are here for another one of our Countdown to Christmas in our Advent Calendar series and today is the 18th of December. So happy 18th of December everybody. And today's offering is this gorgeous um, uh, journal. It's um, a hardback cover journal and um, yeah. And I'll just get my ruler to show you the size of this. Okay, so this is a five and a half by eight inch journal. Now, this is my second hardcover journal that I've ever made. And I have a confession to make in that I was so busy concerning myself with, you know, stressing over how I was going to be sewing in the signatures that I made a flaw, a fundamental flaw in that I have cut all of the pages a little bit too short, you know, for my liking. I mean, I think it works fine, but just to kind of give you an idea, this is obviously the book edge and this is your pages. So you've got about a centimetre or so of book, if you see what I mean. Now, I've tried to get around that in a lot of places and add some pretty things and things like that. But I do want to point that out because, um, you know, I do realise that obviously that was an error really on my part. So... But yeah, I mean, this is only my kind of um, second second bash at a hardcover journal. So um, yeah, I'm still very much learning with that. So I just wanted to point that out. So this is a three signature um, hardcover journal. First time I've done a three signature. The other one I did was two. I have included one of my tassels, which I had so very much fun making. I've also included these beads, which I so, um, you know, was so lucky to receive in Happy Mail because as you know, I can't really do things like this. I find things like this very, very fiddly. So I just thought they went absolutely gorgeous on here. And I've just literally popped them through the fabric with a bulb pin with the tassel. So that's how that's attached. I've covered the whole of the um, cover. This was, I think it was a Reader's Digest book, if I recall. And I've covered the whole of the cover with some fabric, front and back. I've put lace and um, these lovely applique thingies um, on that I'd received in Happy Mail. Then I've done a little bit of a snippet roll around there. I will be including one of my little handmade by Shabby Dabby Doodah labels on there. I just have forgotten to do that so far so I will be putting that on there. Um, and then here this is a vintage cigarette card that I have just torn out. The whole theme of this journal is um, these gorgeous blues and teals and pinks and oh, just yummy, yummy colours. And it's incorporating tons and tons of cigarette cards and flowers and things like that. So, yeah, hopefully that's, you know, you can see once I go in why it's got that on there. So the closure is just these ribbons and they've all been just glued down. They're kind of doubled over. So you've got a pretty polka dot one and a gingham one there so just undoing that so going inside the journal so inside I've got this beautiful greeny color um, I think it's actually seam binding I don't really kind of know you know what seam binding what that really means but it's like folded over ribbon basically so that's running all down here on the edge this is some of my collage sheet um, and then just one of my numbers, which just picks up that green colour perfectly. You've got some fabric here. And then on this side, you've got a little one of those. Um, oh, I don't really know what they're called, but let's just call it just a pocket. <laughs> Again, I've just put some cigarette card um, image there. So all the cigarette card images are original and vintage. And tucked into that pocket, I just did a little journaling card. I've been having lots of fun with my coloured inks in this journal. So that just tucks into that pocket like that and then you've just got a journaling card tucked in behind there and then you've got this gorgeous blue lace so going over the page and this is where you know you can now see obviously those pages are really quite short so yeah I just want to really emphasize that so here you've got a double corner tuck spot I just popped in one of my ephemera pieces there and one of my vintage photo um, printables so they just both tuck up here like that then this lovely um, image here, she's just from my um, botanical ballroom kit and I just edged her in this lovely um, 
think it's Blueprint Sketch Ink. So yeah, she looks really pretty and just popped her onto that ribbon. You've got some vintage book page there and then you've got some pages for journaling. Oops, but they're now glued on together. So they're coffee dyed. You've just got this image here. Again, some more vintage cigarette card, food colour page. Then this is one of those little pockets over the page, which I've overhung it, if you see what I mean, to extend the page. So it's now extended the page out. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's just some of my collage page and literally I've just popped it down like a pocket and you've just got a journaling card in there and more of that seam binding that I've just ruffled on the sewing machine and then here you've got the same with some lace and then just another journaling card that just tucks in here like that and actually I quite liked doing those pockets overhanging the page funnily enough because, you know, the pocket's now really quite roomy and I've got then extra space to be able to get my card in and out. Obviously, I ordinarily couldn't really do that because my pages would be much nearer the cover. But actually for this, it worked really well. You've got some vintage sheet music and then some more of that collage page, but printed small, backed onto a coffee dyed um, piece there, um, printable. And then a little postage stamp there, um, you know, faux postage stamp. You've got some lace trim down here, more of that food colour paper, one of my postage stamp clusters, and then some more of that lovely seam binding ruffled on the sewing machine, a little vintage postage stamp. And then here again, and I've done this throughout the journal, I've used a couple of those vintage cigarette cards as pay, uh, page tabs and page turners, which I just kind of have glued them together by just on paper clip this and this one as well so that you can see they're just such a fantastic tab to have on the edge of the page again this would ordinarily you know possibly be problematic because my pages would be closer to the edge of the cover but for this journal this has worked really awesomely so yeah I'm really happy with that um, a little tag there again I've played around with my ink colors and things and um, stitched it and you've got some ribbon that just obviously paper clips onto the page and then here I've just got a little journaling card printed there um, some more of my food colour paper the other side of that collage sheet uh, sheet music and then this here is a little pocket and again just going inside it's got a little um, journaling card and again on the journaling card I've just popped one of those vintage cigarette cards so that just goes in there like that and then Oops. you've got one of my street names up here um, and one of my vintage lady cigarette cards printable that one um, and then here you've got some more of that ruffle little corner tuck there with just this little card that was kind of you know in my stash from a long time ago food color paper the coffee dyed paper little number tab and some lace the rest of that vintage book page down here you've got gorgeous um, you know corner tuck spot just again on my collage sheet printable and then a bit of um, cigarette card there another one of those street names some of the blue lace down the side and then I just popped in a little journaling card there then this one here again another one of the street names and then this is from my ephemera Victorian ephemera set 2 and I've just made her a top pocket at the top and just popped in this little tag from my um, uh, high tea kit and this one is a stamped postcard which again I just thought looked gorgeous with the um, cigarette card you know just torn that out so that's another journaling card there so love how that looks then this side I've again got more of that lovely food colour paper um, it's actually card and it's a gilt again some more cigarette card and a little butterfly there and then you open and you've got more room for journaling and that just tucks into, again, one of my little street names. Another little journaling card in there. Then going over the page, another little ruffle. And then this, another one of those pockets. And another little tag that I made there. That just goes back in there. And then this, a little flip out, just with the food coloured paper. And again... I've just stuck one of those cigarette card pieces just down on there. I had such a lot of fun 
um, another cigarette card here. It's such a lot of fun using those cigarette cards because, um, you know, over time I've obviously accumulated quite a few every time I see them at a car boot sale or anything. And I managed to get some of these gorgeous floral ones, only florals, um, nothing else. And yeah, I was so thrilled to get them and it was so lovely to be able to be so extravagant using so many of them. Yeah, because normally I'm a little bit inclined to hoard them. So it was lovely being able to be so generous and, um, you know, not be stingy with them. So more of that food colour paper, little butterfly there, and then uh, this is my high society kit, little lamp post there, and then some vintage book page, and then here I just included a little flip up, oops, just with some paper there, like that. Okay, and then in here, um, again, another one of those kind of page tabs with the cigarette cards. So that's just two cards put together on the edge of the page. This is that piano roll paper. This is some more of that paper that I kind of made myself with the stamps. Um, this is just a copy of some of my vintage paperwork. And then you've just got a little street name down there. In here, you've got um, a uh, coffee dyed glassine bag. This is one of my pieces from my ephemera set two and tucked in here you've just got one of those vintage lady cigarette cards tucked in like that this is again another corner tuck spot up the top with again another one of those cigarette cards and they are so gorgeous they just look great everywhere you put them and then this one here with the numbers up there and she just goes in there so I had such fun, honestly, with this journal, with the cigarette cards and obviously these gorgeous coloured papers and things. More ruffle, a little kind of flippy pad there. And then opening, you've just got some more of that collage page, but printed small. And then here you've got a journaling card. I love this journaling card so much. It's so pretty. It's just, oh, look at those yummy colours. So that one is um, just paper clipped on. And then paper clipped on the other side, I've just got again some of that uh, vin uh, food coloured paper and I've just inked around it with some blue to kind of like emphasise the blue. And this is from that vintage adverts book that just clips on like that. And then you've got the rest of that glassine bag, just got a vintage printable there of that photograph. Oops. And then on this side you've got some more of that ruffle and a little corner um, cluster again another little flippy pad like that with some lace and then a little journaling card there so they both tuck in up there and then you've got more pages for journaling the rest of that piano roll more for journaling little set of roses down there and then this here this is one of my vintage advert um printables um i think i've got them in plain and floral this is obviously a floral one and I just made it a top pocket for just this little flippy piece there and just kind of layered a couple of things up on top of there. So that just goes in like that. And then um, more room for journaling and another bit of vintage page. This is one of Caroline Craft Tree's um, tickets, this green one. So that's on there. More coffee dyed paper, food coloured paper, another bit of ruffle and a vintage postage stamp. And then this again, I kind of did that same idea where I've extended the page by putting a folded piece. Actually, I don't think this is folded. This might have been two pieces that I've glued together and formed a pocket. So lots of things layered up on here. Um, street names, the vintage adverts, uh, my glue book favourite set two. And this is all on my um, collage base um you know to form the pocket a little journaling card tucked in on this side and then on the other side love how this bit looks so much i love that color blue with that um lamp post and the street name wow just like oh i love those colors um and then just this little b here and then again just a little journaling card tucked in there and then we're on to the final signature so the final signature you've got, again, I've just layered up some lace down here, more of that lovely cigarette card down there, and then just this is torn off of one of my vintage printables, I think from Ephemera Set 2. You've got, again, some of my vintage adverts, and then this one here is just a little booklet 
with some just, you know, scrappy pages in there. And again, just layered up one of those cigarette card florals that just clips on at the top. Oops, like that. And then going over the page, you've got here a vintage cigarette card, which is acting as a little stopper for this little flippy pad. So you've got the flippy pad there just with some scraps and it just tucks in to hold it flat behind there. More room for journaling, um, some more roses, another one of those street names, and then some more lace, more vintage book page. And then here you've got oops, a pocket that's empty. So let me just see if I've got anything I can put in there. Let me just grab something in. Oh, that's not going to fit, I don't think. Oh, isn't that annoying? Right, okay, I'll have to have to try and remember to come back to that. So I'm going to just say in advance, I apologise so much if I don't remember because um, memory like a sieve and by the time I finish the video, the chance are I may have forgotten to put something in there. So I just apologise now. Um, but I will try and remember to do that. So you've got a pocket here and this I extended the page. Oh, it has got a journaling card in. Oh, sorry. It, yep, yeah, scrap all of that. And yeah, you have got a journaling card in that pocket. So that just goes in there. So I don't need to find a journaling card. I extended that page a bit by just putting some of this um, torn onto the edges. I think it was a technique that I saw Pam at the Paper Outpost do. And actually it works brilliantly so I just did that on that page and then again on the other side inked it up with that lovely blue and then ran some lace down and then this here is a little tuck spot for this tag and this just opens out like that another one of those vintage advert pieces and then some more room for journaling here and then here you've got a corner tuck spot with just a little journaling card oops and then here you've got just a little um, envelope and then that's acting as a little um, pocket again for another flippy pad which again this has got some of that food colour page which is just gorgeous and also some of the collage sheets so that just goes there with some ruffled seam binding more ruffled seam binding down here this is the centre of this signature you've got one of these from my trellis birds kit just acting as a pocket and then tucked in just another one of those vintage advert journaling cards and then here you've just got some more of that seam binding just ruffled around the edge then here you've got a little tuck spot and that's just holding in this cute little postage stamp <laughs> and you've got some of the cigarette card there again and some lace little flower there and that's just stapled on with that vintage postage stamp so obviously there is a staple the other side some lace trim down there Again, more room for journaling, lace trim, and then here, another one of those flippy pads, like that, and some lace trim. I had such fun, honestly, with this journal. It was lovely working with such vibrant colours, so um, yeah, I hope that you guys like it. Then this one here, again, I've done that sort of tab business going on with those um, cigarette cards, and then you've got a corner, um, not a corner, sorry, a top loading pocket there with the vintage adverts and then she's layered up from my botanical ballroom and that's just got a, um, a journaling card tucked in. And then on this side you've just got obviously that other cigarette card with some more ruffle and then on this um, back page you've just got some more of that gorgeous um, collage sheet and then I just popped in one of my little cards from my, <laughs> from my Edwardian supper and that's just like a little tiny pocket there for that and then you've got obviously finishing it off some more lace and ruffle so that's the whole journal um as i say those pages i did you know i did muck it up and made them too short i still think it turned out a really nice journal um you know otherwise i obviously wouldn't be putting it in my shop but i do want to point that out because you know of course obviously you know some people may kind of think oh those those pages are too short I am aware of that and um, yeah I think it still turned out you know really super nice so um, yeah so I hope that you like it so I really hope that you love the the um, journal it's really super pretty colours had a great fun time making it um, as I've said on all of these episodes uh, this journal will be listed in my Etsy shop at 2pm GMT which is 9am 
uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, so if you wanted to head over and check it out in my Etsy shop, that's the time that it will be listed. Um, yeah, and I hope that you are enjoying the series so far and hopefully you guys will join me tomorrow for another day in the advent calendar with something else being put into my Etsy shop. So, so <laughs> that was a bit of a mouthful. Um, so I hope you all have a great day, everybody. Stay safe and hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.